It's a familiar scene. Enak the barbarian investigates an overturned ox cart. The owners are long gone. He searches the cloth sacks that remain, and as he opens the first, thwip, 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 a hail of arrows rains down from the neighbouring hillside. Enak falls to the ground, clutching his chest. Because he didn't look around him, and those dastardly goblin archers had a plus two on attack. Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. This week, you, us, we are going to make hills. Hills are great at bringing attitude to your board. It breaks levels, heightens a piece of scenery's significance, and are an essential platform for your artillery. We're bringing some really fundamental war games knowledge today, so let's get stuck in. First, get out a big sheet of cardboard and begin cutting it into ovals. Think about a topographical map, with each layer being the next step in the elevation. We're going to cut four or five layers, but realistically you can go as high as you want. The objective here is getting battle-ready hills in no time at all. Glue down each layer really well so that every piece of cardboard is glued flat on top of each other. Next, we're going to mix a thick paste with tissue paper and PVA glue. Brush this paste onto the exposed edges of the card. Work it in until you've got a gradual elevation between each layer. This creates the gradient for your hill. Once the edge blending is complete, cover the whole hill in a few layers of tissue paper. Cover the paper then in PVA glue. Then, using your brush, flatten it out, and then you can stipple it to add texture. This final layer of glued tissue paper will bring a lot of strength to the overall structure, making it a long-term feature for your game board. Time to embellish the hill. Get various bits of stone, gravel and a good bit of flock and begin placing the largest stones where screes and runs would naturally gather. Build these screes around two edges of the hill. This way you'll have clear runs through the middle for any of your models or miniatures. Cover these stone piles in a dusting of gravel bits and sand. After all, we're striving for a decent amount of verisimilitude. Next, put a good layer of PVA glue over all the uncovered part of the hill. Overlap the flock with the rocky areas to create a really nice natural blend point.
At last you can mount your own mighty hill and say, It's over, Enoch. I have the high ground. Because, as Obi-Wan taught us, the high ground is everything. Thanks for watching, and until next time, try hard. Hey guys, welcome to Try Hard Games. I'm Andrew, these are the Try Hard Boys. We're here to help you build better worlds from fantasy to sci-fi, D&D to Warhammer. We'll be sculpting miniatures, crafting game boards, and a load of memes in between. We'll be putting videos out every week and we've got big plans. So be sure to hit like and subscribe. And until next time, try hard. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs>